Thanks for the episode last hour of Survival 3. We returned, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We're back in the swaps. We got our ATV, and today is a video that I've been looking forward to making for quite a while. This is something that I'm so freaking excited to share with you, boys and girls, today. If you guys are right for this freaking smash that like button like you've never smashed it before, we are going to be going over how you can get the ATV and unlock the swamps for free with this awesome thing that I got in store for you boys and girls. So without further ado, while we go ahead and harvest up one of these swamp zones, we are going to be breaking this down. So as we know, the ATV requires quite a lot of very hard to obtain materials that, uh, well, they're definitely pretty on the hard side, but with what we got to show off today, it should make your lives significantly easier because we know that it requires all sorts of freaking goodies like uh for example here the equipment tab right just to show it off really quickly you need car batteries you need gas cylinders you need uh what you call the freaking atv transmissions over in the gas station that you can get and a whole bunch of things like that and by no means is it the easiest thing to accomplish but with the help of this awesome application known as misplay your lives are about to become significantly easier this is an application that literally lets you play games and earn points that you can then put towards redeeming gift cards and the awesome thing about it is that it actually takes your interest in certain types of games and tailors the games that it offers to you for you to actually earn points by playing those games on top of that these are games that you can continue playing it's not like oh you play the game once you get some points that one time no you can literally find a game that you love to play and just keep on playing it and the more that you log in the more that you play the more points that you accumulate that you can then go ahead and redeem towards gift cards and in our case over here last day on earth there are indeed itunes and play store gift cards available but if you're not even a fan of last day on earth you can still go and get your hands on some amazon gift cards xbox gift cards all sorts of stuff like that this is literally so awesome because you can choose the games that you want to play and literally you're getting paid to play them and then you can use that towards other games like last day on earth for example it's like netflix for games instead of movies so over in the u.s where i'm based there's actually over 30 games available and every game also has a community that you can join in misplay where you can actually join some chat rooms and chat because this is actually an application that fills all sorts of these types of needs where you can actually make friends and stuff like that on top of that and chat with others and should you choose there's even the opportunity to enter into contests that they hold that will give you a chance of getting a ton of points that you can then put towards your gift cards as well and it's super strange straightforward to work it too because once you install the application they ask you what apps you like and then from there it actually gives you a mix list that is a list of games tailor fit towards your interest you can go ahead and scroll through it uh, find a game you like and it's pretty simple because all you have to do is pick a game install it and start playing it with the misplay app enabled and then as you play you can earn achievements uh, earn points as you play and all sorts of jazz like that which will help you get those gift cards right now you guys are actually seeing me installing and starting to play pirate kings which is a game that i came across just from misplay and loki it's been a solid little bit of fun so far so shouts out to misplay for helping me find this so again boys and girls make sure you guys go to that link at the very top of the description and download this it is at the time being available for android but they are coming to ios soon so keep your eyes and ears appealed for that and for the time being it is only available in the europe us and canada but and by downloading it not only only are you opening up an awesome avenue for your boys and girls to earn gift cards for last down or through some of the best means imaginable but on top of it you guys are helping support the weekly giveaways that we do do over here so shouts out to you boys and girls for that and i think you're gonna like what you see but hopefully all you boys and girls can start putting this to use just like i have been to help all of us with crafting the atv because now with this unlocked this is gonna make a lot of our lives easier and let's go ahead and break down exactly why that's gonna be happening Happening. but first i want to say huge thank you to misplay again for sponsor this video and support the channel i appreciate the bejesus out of it make sure to download the app over at the top of the description and i don't know it was just really awesome to be able to partner with misplay because the way that they're going about this is probably like one of the best ways that i've seen because you literally pick the games that you want to play and then once you find a game that you like you keep playing it you're having fun playing the game that you like you're earning rewards on top of it and then you can put those rewards towards other stuff and in the case of the atv it is going to be very 
very, very handy, and we're gonna break down exactly why here for a quick second before we go back into the swamp, because this is gonna open up so many opportunities that are going to help out quite a lot of you lads and lassies, because in case you guys do not know, well, let's start with the very simple things, and that, of course, is the fact that there are certain boxes over here, like the specialist pack that you are gonna be able to purchase, and, well, there are some pretty important materials, like you'll be able to collect cogs, which is obviously a pretty big deal, along with car batteries, two of the main components that do go into ATVs. There's also the mechanics pack over here that does offer rubber, should you choose to go that route as well. So already right off the bat, there's gonna be a cool, a couple of cool things you'll be able to get straight from the store, and especially, there's gonna be a couple more connections we gotta make, but let's not forget as well, the caps that you'll be able to get, because caps are at the time being, right now, the only way of getting the ATV transmission of which you need 10 to complete the ATV. Back in season three, there was like the season pass and stuff, right? That actually lets you get the ATV transmission on the premium side of the pass, in addition to the whole Fort Moss thing that was going on. And here's the thing, but for the time being, we can only get it from the gas station. You need, you need caps and you need some good luck. So Misplay is definitely gonna be able to help you guys out in that regard, which is hype, hype, hype. But on top of that, Misplay here is gonna give you guys a great opportunity to get those gift cards and well, save them for an upcoming season. Cause we know that season three had a ton of supplies in that season pass and Fort Moss and well season four is right around the corner so I'm just saying the premium pass for that is probably gonna be a banger and well Mistplay will help all of us get it without spending a dime of our own money. So those are some of the very explicit things that you can get once you do get your hands on misplay over here without having to drop a dime of your own cash, right? But on top of it, well, there are other components and other methods that we gotta collect some of these ATV parts. Like for example, the gas cylinders, and more car batteries, and that's where Bunker Bravo comes into play. And Bunker Bravo is not going to be in the easy place, which is again why misplay is gonna be so hype because it will give you guys the opportunity to pop open some of these weapon packs, like the suppression pack and special forces pack, to get tons of great armor and weapons to help you guys with what awaits. Of course, the sounds pack as well, like tons of great opportunities here for y'all to go ahead and stockpile up on some good stuff. But, 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 but. It will also give you guys the chance to cop some of these rad protection packs. And as we know, Bunker Bravo is just... The worst part about it is that radioactivity. And you are going to be dying from radioactivity. The rad protection pack over here will give you guys a great opportunity to get radioactive proof. Not 100%, but it will reduce the amount of radiation damage that you take. Armor, in addition to some radioactive medical supplies like anti-rads and anti-radiation pills, which will entirely wipe out and help prevent the radiation damage that you take as well. Which is just another way the misplay is really just going to be so incredible at helping all of us get our ATV in case we have not already. Because honestly, those those are some of the most important medical supplies over here for Bunker Bravo because otherwise you just got to go like next level hardcore on some of those Bunker Bravo floors. But if you have access to a nice little stockpile of medical supplies and some rad suits, honestly, things get a little bit more reasonable. So currently, those are the main ways in game of getting a lot of the ATV parts. If that changes in the future, I'll be sure to let you boys and girls know or the ATV specific parts, I should say. But there are still other things you need like engine parts and stuff like that from which, and caps, for example, you can also get caps from other methods, such as clearing out Bunker Alpha over here. I believe the police station has to offer them as well. Same with the farm, and Bunker Alpha as well, on top of the caps, does offer you engine parts. The same with the farm over there, and well, you need guns and stuff to clear those out too. So again, that's another way the misplay is gonna be able to help you guys out. Like, it's just gonna be this great way of kind of boosting yourself within this ecosystem that we are within in Last Day on Earth. And on top of it, there is also that brand new junkyard event. <laughs> that I absolutely despise that spawns on the map sometimes, right? Well, that has a chance of summoning, or not summoning, but for you to loot car batteries from, but you need a level 40 chopper. So you gotta finish up your chopper first, and then on top of that, you gotta level it up over at the gas station, and guess what? Misplay is gonna be able to help you guys with building and upgrading that chopper, and again, a big reason for that is because if you follow me over here to the transport, well, you can actually get engine parts over here for the mechanics pack, which is gonna be huge. A chopper gas tank over there. The specialist pack not only gives you 
car batteries, but also chopper wheels and chopper forks, both of which you could go and hand over to Jane and, well, she will help you upgrade your chopper in exchange for those things. So just coming full circle in so many different ways, it is truly going to be a base that's why i really want to show this off for you boys and girls and why it's I, I really wanted to wait until something good came along to do a video like this because misplay is genuinely like the best application i have ever seen that does what it does you know and especially with the whole like ability to chat meet people freaking join these communities and then on top of it pick the games you want to play and keep on playing them that's just the type of freedom that i'm a huge fan of so shouts out to misplay for freaking having such a great application like that and uh, on top of it too it will help you guys with raids since uh, well you can go ahead and purchase coins because in case you guys are not aware cost money but they can use those coins to skip the raider tasks and even if you don't have c4 it can help you get some c4 over here from the pack for unlocking so definitely a lot of ways that things are going full circle definitely something i want to make sure to let you boys and let you boys and girls know about but without further ado let's make our way back in the swamp and continue having some fun over here in this location that hopefully following the events of today a lot of y'all will be able to get your hands on a lot easier and honestly i'd love to hear from y'all in that comment section down below as well once you do have the misplay application opened on up what i want to know from you boys and girls oof are you serious there is a freaking ah oh, i didn't bring a car battery i freaking went to the yellow zone i wasn't expecting this thing to freaking appear oof we might need to miss an opportunity here of using the freaking collector talk about an oof well actually no because thanks to the awesomeness at misplay oh no 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 no, we got our hands over here on a few of these specialist packs and maybe no whammy no whammy no whammy no whammy we'll be able to get a little bit lucky and get our hands on one of these car batteries so dude misplay just coming up more and more clutch come on anything over let's freaking go that's what i'm talking about so here we got the car battery let's go ahead and cop that puppy right over there and we are looking good we'll be able to activate that and bring home another one of the ore crates which is going to be huge because those obviously do have access to lead so even after we've built up our atv like misplay still coming in handy like that's what i'm talking about so like i'm saying once you boys and girls do have it downloaded what i would love to hear from you guys in that comment section down below as well is what is your favorite game that you guys were able to actually start playing from like what's the what's your favorite game that you've kind of started adventuring with and earning points throughout i'd love to hear that from y'all in that comment section head down below and a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly 25 dollar i do touch place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure the like button and make sure subscribe to that will sure you win on today's video, y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video for the past week, pick a random comment from that random video, and that will be the one for the week. And we'll kick off for the weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway, not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well. And of course, all the incredible last day on Earth shenanigans we are also bringing to you, boys and girls, especially with the fact that well we got access to this uh, rather crazy place known as the swamp hopefully something that a lot more of y'all will be able to unlock following the events of well it's an a day but okay Ooh! holy guacamole i was not expecting that man to wake up so grumpy but all righty then back to what i was saying over here um i say Whoa, what's going on we're gonna jump by a swamp zombie okay i got a little bit spooked there i say why my dear watson yeah <laughs> I say we go ahead, we activate this thing. Let's try and bring an ore crate back home with us. I'm always a fan of getting my hands on more lead because for the time being, we don't have a lot of uses for the lead plates, but I fully anticipate there's some more uses coming down the line. So okie dokie. Why does that keep on happening? Am I like accidentally like pressing a button? Why, why does that just like accidentally stab like that? What is going on? Okay, there we go. I fixed it. I don't know what that was about. My guy was just in a very stabby mood, I guess. That was really weird. But alrighty. We got the Kalashnikov with the... Oh, no, I didn't equip the grenade launcher. Oof. Okay, that's a little bit of an L. Regardless, this is the weapons that I will rock. Let's go ahead. Let's activate the drill rig and let's get out of dodge because there's about to be a lot of angry enemies to come in our way. But as long as we run away, we should be able to actually do this drill rig in a bit more of an efficient fashion than usual. So as these zombies run towards us, right, we'll take them out. But... 
what happens is that as long as we're not close to the drill rig itself, these zombies are not going to be super focused on us, which is a good thing. Because that gives us the opportunity to go around the map, harvest up some of the other resources that it does have to offer, like these ash logs, which I am definitely a big fan of right now because, well, I want to continue crafting some of the new ATV stuff that has been added into the game. Not ATV stuff, but some of the new uh, stuff that we can craft from swamp resources, right? Which is, again, why I'm saying make sure that you boys and girls have that notification bell hit after you're subscribed. Plenty of awesome last day honor stuff coming your boys and girls way and oh mama we got a tainer do not want to let that guy hit us that guy is nasty oh there we go you love to see the sprouts too and the corn seeds both of those are gonna be coming in very handy where are you people coming from oh why am i getting jumped by so many zombies i don't know we got to continue waiting for that drill rig before we decide to actually run on over there Otherwise, things might get a little bit more foggy than we might like. A shot to gun the rain. There we go. Let's get some hits on those. Shotgun rain was able to help us out a little bit. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's make sure we put on our gas mask over here while we start harvesting the further sulfur ore to ensure that we are not taking that damage. Again, shouts out to Misplay for helping us to get our hands on one of these puppies right there through the radiation packs. We're back over here at the ATV. Oh, hello, Carion. What are you doing over here, buddy? I don't know. Let's go back to the hat, though. Until I'm harvesting sulfur, not really much of a point to have that thing equipped. Let's continue running around a little bit. Oh, mama. Oh, these dudes are still on our case. But it doesn't matter. Even if you're on my case, you ain't getting to me, buddy. Oh, no, no, no. Not today. Woo! Gotta watch out for the carions. They can hit us from a distance, which makes them a little bit more dangerous. How much longer is this drill rig gonna be going for it, dog? Like, it's been a while. It should be finishing up here rather soon. And then we can bring that ore crate to the ATV, and we'll be able to haul that puppy back home. So, it does appear like the drill rig does appear in yellow zones. I just think it's a bit more rare. So, I'm pretty sure every red zone I've gone to has had the drill rig. But, not every, like, yellow zone, which is kind of interesting. Dude, how long does this thing take? There we go, I was about to say. We're about- Oh, we got a lot of enemies coming our way! No, 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 shotgun rain! Marvelous! Let's get a couple hits off on those dudes, and put the yeet finisher blows into them. Okay, so I think they were done getting distracted by the drill rig, and they're like, Oh, let's go after Star! Yeah! Well, that's the biggest L you've taken today, zombies. Not the good call. Not the good call. Although, thank you for inhabiting such a wonderful zone filled with ash logs and planks and all that whatnot. So, let's go and just continue collecting. And then... Ah, oh, she blows the wonderful ore crate that we were looking for. Can you actually, act, hold on, a little bit curious here. Can you activate this a second time? I don't think so, because I just started looting up a dead body. So let's go ahead and bring this crate back over to the ATV. We will cleanse it back at home, just as we have been doing with all of these crates. So again, we can use our pressing machine and start turning the lead ore into the other lead ting with the name that I forget. Um. Uh. Uh. Yes. Genuinely, that train of thought just got 50 shades of freaking derailed, dude. Like, I don't know where that thing was going. Oh my god, I would be the worst freaking train thought conductor in the universe. But all right, here's what we're gonna do. We got a good amount of resources here specific to what, uh, whatchamacallit, these zones have to offer. I do hope, is there no, ah, a little bit of an L. I don't think there's any peat over here, just like the dirt that you can collect from the swamps. We appear to be missing out on that a little bit, so that's a little bit of a bummer, because I'm trying to harvest that up a little bit more, so maybe we'll go to the red zone after this, too. Well, it looks like things are getting risque. Let's go and check out what we got over here within this chest. No way, no way, no way, no too bad. Not too bad. And, I don't know. I guess since there isn't any really, like, I don't know, I'm not seeing any peat, so we might as well just go, uh, whatchamacall? A full auto here on the harvest thing. Let's split those up a little bit. I will go auto mode. We'll collect all that we can from the swamp zone. And then the red zone awaits. And alrighty, boys and girls, our inventory is filled to the brim with the swamp specific materials. But I do still want to get my hands on a little bit of peat. So why don't we go over to the red zone, the wild bog. And while we're not going to be activating the excavator or the drill rig over here, we're still gonna be doing some other stuff. Hold up, I gotta fill up my flipping thing with a little bit of gas because it's a kind of run out. As long as we got enough gas though to start driving to the swamp, we'll be good. I actually wanna see if I can't try something over here. Uh, here's what I wanna do, right? 
I do have a couple of water bottles. Let's drink up a couple of those. Let's uh, bless the ATV with the vitamin B. You'll love to see it. And then after we got that nice and popping, there you go. What I want to do is activate one of those and then take back all the gas that I can while leaving the smallest sliver imaginable. And I think that we should still be able to check this out. This is a nifty little trick we may be able to engineer here. Speaking of which, this play will also help you guys get some gas in case you boys and girls ever do run out. But let's freaking go! It gives us just enough gas to start the journey to the red zone. And then we can just use up our energy to go ahead and go over there. And we got unfinished business, baby. Because we got to get our hands on some peat. We got to get our hands on some more ash logs. Since ash planks are going to be a central resource moving forward for us. Or at least, I don't know. It's not like it's used in a lot of things yet. But I honestly, man, it's going to be good for us to stockpile it early and often so when it finally does have a more of a use we're ready to go ham egg and cheese with that stuff you know but for now i'm also looking for that peat because i do need to get my hands on that let's go and continue mowing down the zombies as they try and run up on us you're done new son and i gotta continue looking for that accursed pile of dirt that is apparently Woo! There we go. That's the pile of dirt that I was talking about. So as soon as we get our hands on, honestly, just one piece of peat within our inventory, we'll be able to just auto harvest and pretty much collect everything by, uh, well, just clicking auto. There we got three of the peat that I was talking about. By the way, peat is going to come in handy as well in the pressing machine. Another thing that I'm really excited to try out is going to be the way that Pete is actually going to be able to. Let's go ahead and split that up a little bit there. The way that it's going to be able to be used as a super valuable fuel resource. I'm really looking forward to that as well. Definitely some crazy things coming, bro. Ooh! We're getting mugged by Shriekers or Shriekers or whatever you want to call them. And after a grueling run through the swamp, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, with our freshly loaded up inventory. We're going to be going home with 90 ash logs after the adventures of today. A stack of corn seeds, a stack and a half of sulfur, and six sprouts along with six of peat. So a very successful run, if you ask me. And uh, honestly, this is hopefully something that a lot of you boys and girls will be able to start doing sooner rather than... Oh, zombies! Later, thanks to the help of Miss Play. So make sure you boys and girls do download that through that link at the top of the description. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll be seeing you guys over there in one of the chat rooms. Or maybe we'll be playing one of the same games here sometime soon. And ooh, ah. Oh. It's the rest stop I was about to say. Sonny Jimba. Honestly, mm, I'm tempted by visiting the rest stop, but I kind of want to get the junkyard event to spawn in. I'm, and I'm always sketched out because I don't know if the rest stop spawns in, if there won't be the other thing. I don't know. We'll see because as we were going over a little bit earlier today, the junkyard is... Uh, muy bueno compadres muy bueno but uh with that said with that done, I think that's a pretty good point for us to go ahead and end off this episode of last day on our survival hopefully today obviously being a little bit on the different side but hopefully it's something that is really going to be able to help out a lot of you boys and girls with your struggles and your journeys because especially for me bunker bravo is still a dang struggle okay and miss play is going to be helping me freaking truck through that so i can only imagine how hopeful it's going to be for a lot of y'all boys and girls as well but yeah that's gonna go to start wrapping it up for me for now thank you guys a whole time for watching have yourselves an awesome one and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya